Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 7 and the name of our chapter is the earth and its resources. So my dear students, we are going to discuss the earth and its resources. Today we are going to discuss about renewable जिनको आप renew कर सकते हैं, दुबारा इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं, and non renewable जिनको हम दुबारा इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते, हम उन resources के बारे में पढ़ेंगे। So previously हम इनको discuss कर चुके हैं, इनके importance को, आज हम discuss करेंगे as renewable and non renewable. So my dear students, before that, let's quickly recap what we have done in the previous lecture. So quickly tell me what are fossils, how they are formed. Very good. So now let's quickly move forward towards an activity. So my dear students, here you can see a picture on your screen. This is sun and that is patrol. So quickly tell me there are two natural resources given. Identify which one can be depleted. So my dear students, in me say, aapko do jo hai natural resource nazar aare hai. Sunlight is a natural resource. Whereas patrol is also a natural resource. In me say, koon sa aisa resource hai jo ke deplete ho sakta hai. Deplete ka matlab hai jo ke use up honne ke baad aap usko dobara istamal nahi kar sakte hai. Is it sunlight or is it petrol? Petrol it is. Yeni ki petrol once it is used you cannot regenerate it. Aap usko dobara jo hai wo istamal nahi kar sakte hai. Okay my dear students. So in today's lecture the students will be able to differentiate between renewable and non-renewable resources. So my dear students, जैसे कि अभी हमने sunlight और petrol के बारे में पढ़ा तो आज बच्चे जो हैं इसकाबल हो जाएंगे कि बच्चे differentiate कर सकेंगे कि renewable resources क्या होते हैं और non-renewable resources क्या होते हैं. ठीक है? So my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. Can we regenerate petrol as quickly as it consumed? So my dear students, aapki gaariyo mein daily basis pe ya aapke ghar mein jo gas istamal hoti hai, jab ye istamal ho jati hai, to kya aap isko dobara se foran generate kar sakte hai? Jaysay ke light hai, aap uski light ko istamal kare hai, to wo continuously aati jari hai sun ki light. So, kya aap isi tarikhe se petrol ya natural gas ko generate kar sakte hai ya coal ko jo hai wo generate kar sakte hai? No, kyunke humne fossils ke baare pada tha, these are fossil fuels aur ye jo hai inko banne mein millions of years lagte hai. Bohut zada time ke baad ye fossil fuels jo hai ye bante hai coal, oil aur natural gas ki form mein aur inko dubara banne mein bhi itna time legega. So, these are non-renewable energy resources aur aaj hum yehi padne wale hai. So my dear students, now it's time for reading for I request you all to please open page uh, the topic renewable and non-renewable in your science 4 books chapter 7. I hope everybody has opened the page. So now let's quickly move forward towards the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Renewable and non-renewable resources. All the natural resources that can be regenerated. Yani ke aise natural resources, aise zaraye natural zaraye jinko regenerate dubara se generate kiya ja sake at the same rate at which they are used are called new renewable resources yani ke aise resources jinko aap istamal kar rahe hai jitni jaldi aap unko istamal kar rahe hai aap utni hi jaldi agar unko generate bhi kar sakte hai then they are renewable resources for example water trees wind and the sun these are renewable resources we need to regenerate renewable resources continuously so my dear students inko hume istamal karne ke liye inko continuously hume renew karna padta hai natural resources which cannot be regenerated as quickly as they are depleted such as fossil fuels like oil coal and natural gas these are called non-renewable resources we need to conserve the non-renewable res natural resources and use alternate renewable resources so my dear students, ऐसे resources जिनको आप जब इस्तेमाल करें तो फिर आप उनको quickly जो है वो generate नहीं कर सकते, so then they are non-renewable resources. Examples हैं coal, oil और natural gas. So हमें चाहिए कि हम इनको महफूज रखें और इनकी जगह हम renewable resources जिनको हम quickly generate कर सकते हैं हम उनको जो है वो इस्तेमाल करें. Okay my dear students, so sun, water and air these are renewable resources. Air and forests. Then oil, natural gas and coal, these are non-renewable resources. 
Now is the time for evaluation. So quickly tell me that what are renewable resources which can be generated as quickly as they were consumed and what are non-renewable resources which cannot be which cannot be regenerated as quickly as they were consumed. So then they are non-renewable resources. So my dear students, now is the time for the practice for which you need to download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So write down your name and the rule number. So what is the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources? So you have to give the difference. So list some renewable resources, kuch renewable resources ke names likhe and then list some non-renewable resources. You can take help from the book also, theek hai? So pause the video and quickly finish it. I hope everybody has done it. Now let's quickly move forward towards the uh, next part of the worksheet. So my dear students, yahan pe aapko kuch resources diye gaye hai. Type the word renewable or non-renewable beside each example. Wind, renewable solar power, renewable wood trees renewable oxygen renewable soil renewable oil non-renewable leather renewable natural gas non-renewable sand renewable water renewable paper renewable so my dear students this is how you can uh, pause the video and complete the worksheet i hope everybody has done it now let's quickly move forward towards the homework for homework you will do mcq number eight given on page number 102 you will do the MCQ in your books and question number 8 in section B, page number 103, you will do the question in your notebooks. So my dear students, today the wrap up. So today we have learned about renewable and non-renewable resources. We need to know that non-renewable resources like coal, coal, oil or natural gas protect them, conserve them, and we need to know that we have non-renewable resources like water, air or solar energy Inko jo hai wo hum istamal kare. I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much. And Allah Hafiz.